So here's the the world's first multi wireless charger. It charges with everything. Yes. So there's a major three standard in the market today. It's an A4WP, PMA, and an WPC. So, so, this is, so which one is which? Like, uh, one is the Qi? Which one? Qi is the WPC. Qi is the WPC logo. So this one is uh, WPC. What, how does WPC work compared to w the other ones? Okay, WPC actually the technology based from the Megan induction. So the technology is actually quite mature, but there's some limitation. For example, when you have a device on the top, you can charge it at, but uh, if you don't align the coil very precisely, you cannot charge. So is this some, they, they need to have some kind of magnet to align it? No magnet, but so because the magnet uh, in, will cause some system problems, so it's not a really yeah. mainstream right now. So, so that's Qi, is that the most popular right now? This is the most popular right now. So all the Qi charger in the market you see will have a similar problem. And there's a lot of companies working together in Qi, right? Yes, most of you can see maybe 80 to 90% in the market today they're using Qi. But it's still, it's the most popular, but it's still limited. It's not ever, like it's only a few percent of people have this, right? Correct. So I think this is also one of the reasons why cheap technology, all you see a standard is everywhere, but it's not really widely adopted. So that's the Qi that's most popular, and what is the... A4WP. A4WP. This is A4WP. So A4WP, you can see, just compare with this two true transmitter. It's the charging area. This is the effective charging area. So everything can charge everywhere? Yeah, so if you have your phone here, you can charge. Does it charge the same devices? Or yes. it's because you put it inside? This is MediaTek 318? Yes, yes, yes. We have, the, here, we, right? yeah, we have the, our chip here already, and also we come out with a solution. Let me change it the other one. I think just a minute. I think this one needs to reset. Right, so, so who, which companies are making this one? The company making this one is next to you. This is the company they are cooking. But yeah, yeah th this is the brand name will work with somebody, so the LDM for them. The inside this pad actually is the Intel transmitter. Intel, so this is the Intel standard. Intel solution for A4WP. A4WP? Yes. And so, uh, Few companies are using this one, and it's very different from this yes. in, internally. Yeah. So, but but your concept with three one eight eight is that one MediaTek phone will work on everything. Yes, we. That's our goal. One receiver solution worker with all the standard. So there you can see it's charging. Yeah. And uh, the last one, uh, PMA. What is that? Uh, PMA is another standard. It's only popular in North America. So sorry, we don't have the PMA here today. Yeah. It's going to. So which company is doing the PMA? Is there another brand for that? Like Qi? Is it something else? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a standard. But uh, I think there's only one company, PowerMate, working on all the stuff. So PowerMate, and then uh, there's uh, Intel, what do they call it, Intel? They call it, uh, uh, it's a A4WP, but they have another name also, Intel Wireless oh, Charge? Or? Yeah, they have a logo called the Resense. 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 Yeah. This, is a, this is their logo. And yeah. so how do you do uh, to have this technology in, in here? Uh, how big is it inside? And uh, I can show you. You know, actually, they, you see this iPhone, we have a sleep. Here. This is the same with the iPhone 6 Plus. If you open it up, our module is just looking like this. So this is the PCB area, and this is actually the coil. So you need a coil like this. How big is this coil? This coil is something about uh, 73 by 55. It has to be like this at the back of the phone, or it, it can be at the end, or under the battery, or where? Yeah, it's a need to be, you know, if you see this is the inside of the phone, when you attach your phone, you need to be at the bottom. The phone, at the bottom. At the bottom of the yeah, phone? Yeah, and the coil face outside. All right. Does this kind of uh, wireless charging interfere with uh, antennas or anything? Or is it designed well, to never I interfere? Well, I think uh, the answer is yes. So in the uh, integration of design, there's uh, something you need to try to avoid that. So that's why also you see there's a fair ride requirement here, because this can shield the making it feel with your phone. Yeah, so I think there was a certain things you need to do, but uh, I think we have shown this is achievable. So yeah. this uh, this uh, PCB right here, 
it has the 3188 as one of the chips as the chip on yes. here yes can this be integrated inside the MediaTek uh, you know like uh, maybe future SOC will have it inside well, I or? think that's possible it's about uh, if we should doing that or not because today like a mo most of the mobile phone maker they are not really endorsed on this technology so you see that that's why the accessory maker is more aggressive so I think uh, this is uh, this should be when the question of when not uh, really if we can do that or is this not. an arm processor or not or no, does it no, go no, together no. with a separate microcontroller no it's not our chip we do have a, a microcontroller but it's not a uh, arm base on the receiver side the uh, technology is actually um, it's, it's simpler so you don't really need to go to arm. and what you just showed me here is this the same size as if you were doing a chi receiver or well uh, is it uh, going to be the same size or is it more bulky oh, the 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 coil size will need to be bigger because uh, like uh, you see this one this is our special technology here you see there's a two turn of a coil then the outer coil is actually for the magnetic resonance and the inner coil is for MI magnetic induction and it actually used by the WPC and the PMA so you see PMA and WPC use a small coil but on the resonant, you need a bigger coil because you have a bigger charging area. So the coil is always bigger, better. You can ha have a better coupling on the magnetic field. All right. And um, for all these technologies, there's a little bit of loss of power, like leakage. Yes. Yes. So which one is the best? What do you think? Qi. Qi Using is an MI is the best. So if you compare with a USB cable direct charge, the efficiency, system efficiency of a chip is something about 70 to 80 percent. But on the resonant, you can you can drop to something like 50 to 60 percent. Yeah. So there's a big difference here. So this solution is uh, being shown, but uh, how soon is it uh, everywhere? Can people buy these cases already? I think this question goes to. Jerry, because they we build the device, we build a chip, they build the end product. So, but the, like what you see, most of the stuff is already ready. They are working on something about the mass production. So you make those cases. Yes. And so, how soon are you launching those? Are you launching them already? How soon? So uh, 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 August. Uh, August. Maybe August, a few August, months later. Yes. And then it'll be for iPhone, 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 and Most Samsung iPhone. and some other stuff. Dango. Yeah, yeah. Depends on the market requirement. They can make a different kind of accessory. Yes.